So we've driven up to the, uh, the back area of the Patala Palace and we're going to go in and check it out. This is going to be great because last time I didn't get a chance to go in, I uh, just kind of uh, toured the outside. Amazing view out here. Let me see if I can extend this up and show you. All right. So have you been here before, Jinjing? Have you been inside? Yeah, I've been here like once, uh, three years ago. Okay. How about you? Have you been in? One year ago. One year ago. Yeah. Oh. So like climbing, like because it's a really tall building, and you have to at some point you have to climb, and it's really hard to do that with okay. such a low oxygen. So you're not happy with your head? Uh, no, I, I, I have a better one, which has the cover on the neck, and I forgot that one, and it's a lighter color, so I think it's better for the sun. Um, the first day, the first day I um, didn't wear a hat, you remember, right? Yeah. I went to the square, and then the next day my skin was stinging. Oh, yeah. You could feel, feel it, yeah. So now I'm imagining we're only at 3,700 meters now. Imagine when we're at 6,800. Uh, <laughs> I think our color can turn lighter, lighter when we go back because the skin will go. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard climbing. Yeah. When I was climbing Kailash Mountain, what I was doing was I was breathing heavy before I needed to breathe heavy to get the oxygen. And I was using those special techniques for when women are giving birth. You know, the. <laughs> Oh, she said this, this is the back backyard up. for Putala Palace. Oh, that's in a pretty nice backyard. Uh, so was the Putala Palace, um, it was done during the, also during the Tang Dynasty when they yeah. sent the, 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 the princess. The princess uh, so I, it, wasn't, it wasn't the emperor's daughter, it was one of the prince's daughters. Okay. Yeah, blood yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but, but anyways, down to the main point, that's when this uh, place was built during that time. During... Uh, uh, that's strength when you can carry heavy stuff like this. John, save some of the most save some of the most important points. That's too long for everything. But. <laughs> uh, I don't even know how. Like it. I speak Chinese, like she's speaking Chinese, but it's a lot of information to comprehend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So no, no, but the basic uh, point. So <laughs> it, it, this one, the building this in particular, didn't have anything to do with the princess. No, it has nothing uh, to do they, with the they, princess. There were some other ones that were built. Yeah, there. that was, uh, basically that's the palace for Song San Ganbu. I don't, I'm not sure his English name. Okay. Uh, the, like the kin during that time, Asian time during that time. So. Uh, what else? It's hard to walk and talk here, isn't it? Yeah, 
<laughs> I blame the oxygen. <laughs> yeah. I don't have a memory problem. <laughs> 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 Maybe can't speak uh, full tone, huh? Uh, you can only speak the local language. You have to learn the local language if you want to communicate. Yeah. You have to learn the Tibetan language. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank Everything's harder at this altitude. Very. Yeah. Yes, I did come here before. <laughs> now, now I remember. I did come here before. Now I remember. We went to so many different kind of palaces and places. It's all mashed together now in my memory. But I remember this very clearly now. That's not where we walk. It's shortcut. Yeah, 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 exactly. So when we came through that entrance, I didn't recognize anything at all. I would have come through the main entrance before. So um, now that we're here, yeah, I remember going up there. Yeah, I went inside there. Yeah. So in this building here, the Dalai Lama would stay in the top right there, and he would also watch the performances down here. The performances would look a little bit different than the one that I had in my last video, uh, and they'd be more kind of religious focused. But uh, yeah, this is the place, this is the main place in Lhasa. Okay. Oh, these look uh, very challenging. Uh, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm relaxed, not relieved from this one. Okay. Oh, look at that Whoa. view. Are we going to have the whole view of that? Oh my God. This is pretty nice. Look at those beautiful green mountains over there, too. Oh, there's the square we were in where we met that uh, the, the the girl last time down there. Yes. Oh, that's the square. Yeah. So the last time I came here, yeah, I went up that mountain there somewhere, and I had a a really high angled view from here. Uh -huh. um, it was a nice view. Really beautiful. Oh, that's a pretty intimidating edge. I can give you guys an angle that will 
scare you a bit. These, um, do you, do you know, uh, these were installed for the princess when she came. These were installed for the princess, the air conditioning, yeah, during uh, the sixth, sixth century. <laughs> <音>然后呢刷的就是红肠和白肠当中的呢就是把它区分以后呢它的就是用的原材料它用的就是就地取材白土加一些就是纯牛奶还有些就是冰糖还有加有一些蜂蜜每年一年一度的这些都要刷上
。那我们现在所到的这个地方就是雪监狱。嗯，那这雪监狱呢，就前面各位也问过，雪是什么意思？就是藏语里面下方的意思。下方，下方，山下方的意思。哦，比雪在藏语里面就是指的是下面的意思、哦，因为当时底下有村民居住，就叫做雪城了。那今天大家参观的这个就是雪监狱，大家我发现个头都高，小心碰头。这边门都有点矮，大家注意安全。Now we're officially in the jail. Yeah. 小心有台阶啊，各位。好。Oh, the skins. This was uh, some uh, yeah, pretty. Yeah, skin. yeah, they. No way. Oh, it's. This one's artificial, but they used to really do that uh, in the ancient times. Oh, so this was the uh, whip that they would uh, lash people's face with. It's kind of like a leather. Oh, that would hurt. Ah, uh, this would split skin too. This whip. A wood clamp. These are the old handcuffs. There's a really good article I'll share with you guys about some of the history of uh, pre-50s uh, uh, Tibet, which is unusually honest about some of the stuff that went on. It's an English article. For life. And this one on their head. They keep it on their head for life. Yeah, for life. My God. What did they do to deserve this? Does she know what kind of crimes they would have committed to, like just petty theft, this kind of stuff, or? This one's something too. This is a uh, sacrificial tool made from a human hand. It's a bit dark to see the title. That's, uh, that would be a weird item to have laying around in your house. So we're just wrapping up here, but um, finding out some really interesting stuff about this place. You know what? I am. Um, I'm pretty embarrassed to say I didn't. I couldn't remember whether I came in here last time or not, um, because I. Um, my last trip was just such a blur. It was such a rush to get up to Kailash Mountain. But once I got in, I started recognizing things. I said I've been in here before. Everything's pretty much the same as four years ago inside the palace. The only notable difference is that in the Dalai Lama's quarters that he has a full 4G signal now. <laughs> but uh, other than that, it's all pretty good. And um, they were saying the maintenance on this is pretty intensive. Every day they've got to be repairing things. They've got a team of 100 people and uh, the central government provided so far 220 million renminbi um, to preserve this building. And um, they described the building as like uh, being a 400 year old man that's just, you know, it's changing every single day and there's always something that they've got to go and fix. They also said this, that the thing that they fear the most here is fire. They said fire would just be absolutely devastating here. So they say that, you know, you know, a lot of the times when tourists come here, they say, no, you can't bring your own water in. And they think, oh, it's because you want us to buy the water up there. But I guess they're really careful about what liquids people are bringing in. No flammable items are allowed in and things like that. So they're really, really careful with this. And uh, 
you can imagine why they'd want to be. I mean, of course, this would be a, a tragedy to lose something like this. But anyways, we're going to continue on and we're about to head out on a, a five hour trip to our next destination. We'll probably wrap up with lunch first. So see you guys in a second. Okay, so we stopped for a little pit stop in this place here. Oh, they live here too. Bedroom is here. Yeah. Um, how do you order that? How do you order? Uh, oh. 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 <laughs> They're all finished. It's too tasty. Everybody's finished it. <laughs> I didn't even take a video of it too. I just couldn't stop. Yours is coming. Huh? Yours is coming. Oh, yours is coming. Okay. You better be quick because if you don't eat it, I'm gonna eat it. Oh, sorry. Oh, here. So here's what it looks like. Hello. Hello. Oh, you you went. Ah, it's a random little pit stop here. It's pretty nice. Hello. Hello. You saw. Bye bye. Is it a little bit It's a little bit It's a little That's a zoomed out version of our little pit stop here and you can see it's just a little busy road here on our way to the next de next destination. <laughs>
have arrived here in our hotel in Shigatse, our next destination. You can see the town behind me a little bit there. And I've got an interesting video planned for tomorrow where I'm going to be visiting a traditional Tibetan hospital. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you in the next video.